Okay, in this tutorial, for new Blender users, I'm going to show you the setup for getting your GPU active. Because by default, the GPU doesn't render cycles images really well. So in here I have a simple fluid setup. I'm using Blender Render at the moment. All right, and this is kind of the rendering it'll do, or where we can do better rendering than that. Like this, if we just give it a material down here, let's give it some kind of, I don't know, maybe a mirror material. Just to give it just something, see if we can fix it up. Yeah, well, there's some. Okay, well, there's something to make it nicer. But the real way to work is working within cycles. And when you work within cycles for rendering, I'll go into cycles render here, and then you have to go into. I'm just gonna get rid of this. You have to go into rendered mode or material mode. I'll go into material mode just for a second, so I can set a material on this domain for the fluid. And then within here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the material that I set under Blender Render and I'm going to press New and I'm going to turn it into say a glass material. I'll just use something simple for starters. All right. But before I do the rendering, so if you go over here to the Render tab, down in here, you notice this thing I have set at GPU Compute? Well, it's not set that way by default, so I'm going to set it to CPU. All right. And when I run it, when I set it the CPU and I render it with F12, let's see how long it takes. It'll show the window up here. That was about seven seconds to do that. Okay. Now let me try this particular image with the GPU. I put it in GPU compute and run it. So, well, 4.6 seconds. Well, that's not actually not a really good example. In fact, typically you can get some up to four to five times the speed of this with this. But so to make sure you have your GPU compute, because it can make a huge difference if you're rendering animations a long way out. So you have to go into the file user preferences in here. You pick up this window and then where is my system? No, it's not my system. Where is it? That system. Okay, so down in here on this system, notice here the compute device. One thing you have to do is make sure you have CUDA set because by default it's set to none. So you select CUDA and then you select your options. In my case, it's the GTX 470. Then you save that setting because if you don't have that setting, well, in fact, let's do it that way. Let's put it to here and save the user setting. And then you notice over here under this render tab, I don't have a way to access the GPU in here. All right. So I have to bring that up, change that to CUDA, save the settings. Then I can close that. Then I have the option. Then it'll be set at GP CPU. Then you can switch it over to GPU and then it'll run it. But typically you can get, well, my GTX 470, I've had a lot of cases four times faster. I mean, that's the difference between, you know, like one hour to render an image versus 15 minutes to render an image. So it's a huge, it's very significant when you're doing animations. And I just wanted to point it out because it's not like this tutorial hasn't been taught before many times, but it's with there's being thousands and thousands of Blender tutorials out there on the web. You just may not be aware of it yet if you're a new user. And I just wanted to point it out. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.